I'll try and get any little plays away from my team. Because if they did engage, I feel like it'd be game over. There you go. Oh my god! Yes! No! <laughs> Welcome mates, I am Bloodthirsty Lord, but you can call me Lordy, and today we're back once again on Marvel Super War. In this game, we'll be playing a very extremely hard character to play in the jungle role, and that character is named Proxima Midnight. She's an assassin, and she's bound to be something crazy to deal with. If you do get really good on her in any rank, if you do master her, you'll be able to climb the ranks quite quickly to platinum and above. That's what we're trying to be doing to understand how to use this character, its full potential within this guide, and how like how to play this character in general in the jungle role. So we're gonna try and jump into a game right now and see what we can possibly do with the character in a match. So that's the most important part. There'll be a 40 second estimated time. But before we do get into this video, make sure you hit that like button to show your support towards the channel and hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with that content. Because we've been uploading quite a bit of Marvel Super War content on the channel and many other interesting bits of pieces here and there. So let's get straight into the video. So being this character, she's very hard to play. We do already have a power core and build for her, but we're gonna highlight her passives and her abilities here and in the actual game at the same time. So her passive ability is, if she doesn't activate it, it will take two seconds to refresh. If she does want to activate it, it'll be using her abilities. Every time she does use her ability, her base attack will form into a range attack, which she's able to use as a way to gain damage from afar, but also be able to dash back and forth with her passive ability. So she's able to gain more mobility out of this ability. Kind of confusing, but I'll show you in game when we do use that. So that was Shadow Blade. Now we're gonna use Eclipse Raid. Eclipse Raid does have the ability to dash in one direction, also applying some damage to enemies in her path, while gaining 20% movement speed for 1.5 seconds and a very small shield. This shield can stack depending on how much damage she does towards enemies. That shield can trigger up to five times. And then she's able to use the same ability again to dash towards another location or lead towards another location. And she's able to do more physical damage and slow nearby enemies for 20% for two seconds. So that's a bit of CC within a kit, nothing extreme at that point. So from that ability alone, we just see a whole bunch of damage and mobility out of it. Then her second ability is called Terror Shadow. She's able to dash towards another direction and depending on her de destination, if she does encounter an enemy, she'll knock them up into the end, doing physical damage and knocking them up for 0.25 seconds. And this ability has another aspect to it. If there's no enemies close by and she's using it to just gain distance, she's able to travel more with that ability and also applies a 40% reduction on her ability if she doesn't encounter any enemies on her path. And then her ultimate, which is called Spear of the Fate. She chucks her spear in a specific direction, dealing damage towards the first enemy struck. Then she's able to gain the ability to teleport straight to the enemy hero side for the next 6 seconds by reusing the ability when her target HP is less than 50%. So when she gains 50% of HP, she's able to target her teleport ability towards that enemy. This will deal a fatal damage blow towards the target and also apply 80% slow for 1 second to any nearby enemies. At the same time, she gains a shield of 450 on that as well. So she's gaining shields, she's doing a bit of damage, she's got good CC, she's even got a teleport ability within her kit, which has a weird active, but nevertheless. And she also has melee and range stacks. That component there is just very extreme to have in a character. It's a bit of everything, and that makes her kind of unique, but very extremely hard to play. So we're gonna try and jump into this game, we're gonna wait a couple more minutes until it starts. Once we do start, we'll jump into the game and highlight what we can do with the character in the jungle role. And we are jumping into the game. Let's pick our character, there you go. In the jungle, let's lock that straight in so we can tell people that we are using the character. Do we have a pro set, which is that build right there, as you see in the top bar? Pretty decent. Gives me mobility, damage output, and that's what we need. And her power cost set, being the one over here, followed up by Strike Particle, Restoration Module, and also Beastial Boost. We have this kit running on some of our characters in the past. We'll be using it in this character on this gameplay in the jungle role. It's very great, so let's jump into this. Our team cop, kind of interesting. We do have Yondu as our marksman. Ebeno Moore as our support, Iceman as our mid laner, and Cull Obsidian as our top laner. I think that's good enough CC and damage output at the same time. The enemy team does have Iron Man play, Scarlet Witch, Angel, Emma Frost, and Hulk play as well. So they have a really good engage as well. Let's check our whole team and see the experience levels on everyone. It looks like our team is going to be the least experienced, which is going to be not a shock, but I'm going to be slightly terrified from it, but we can see what we can do. Because we're versing a Scarlet Witch player that has 200 points towards an aim, and some Angel and Emma Frost around 80. Not too bad. I think we have a chance of destroying these guys and completely highlighting how to use 
this character in the jungle world to her full potential. So let's go and get our first item, which will be Deadpool's Shotgun, since we are in the jungle roll, and also put a point into our first ability. I'm most likely starting Red Buff, only because that's more useful for me when it comes to early game. I don't really care about my mana pool or cooldown reduction. I'd rather have a lot more damage output, and also applying damage overall. So we're going to wait for this to actually spawn up. Once it does spawn at 30 seconds, we'll be able to find it with our ability, which is our primary ability that we put a point to already. So we're going to activate that, use a range attack, then pretty much kite it a bit here, then dash. Oh, we failed by five seconds. Oh my god. <laughs> I was trying to leap back on the enemy target, but it doesn't matter. We're going to put a leech ability there. Use our control ability here. Control that. Yep, perfect. Dash in. Then go over that. Use a range tax. We could be kiting it more. Uh, I feel like either way, we end up going melee range towards that character, but it doesn't matter. We do have an ability which is in the middle of the screen since we killed a creature with that. It does provide us with the ability to actually shield um, allies. And it activates globally, I'm pretty sure. So if our team members aren't going to have a fight, I'm going to keep in mind on that. I'm going to go towards bot lane since I do have a level advantage. We could abuse that. Attack. And not a good time. So instead, we're just going to get the goal from this creature. Actually, it was a good time. Okay, Emma Frost is here. I use my shielding device just in case. She's trying to charm me, but I cannot be stuffed for that. So we just walk away from that. I don't think it's a fight we should actually fight, so I'm gonna just press retreat, retreat and try to go to another lane or farm up. In this case, since Iron Man's playing quite safe, I'm gonna go farm up instead. I think that's a better option for us. So she's got great mobility, as you can see. She can just dash quite a lot through her abilities, but also her passive. As she does the range attack, she actually goes backwards a bit, as you can see from there. And to know the range attack's been activated, your um, area effect damage or your base attack range would increase to the yellow marker, which highlights our range attack, as you see from here. Range attack. And you can use it from that distance. And our support play just killing the guys in bot lane. That's perfect. I'm going to help Cole Obsidian hopefully get this kill, but Emma Frost playing hella safe. I'm going to just wait here. And I missed my ultimate. No. There, there we go. Nice work. You just stick like glue towards these characters. It's unbelievable. Our leech ability is in five seconds. I'm just seeing if we can do anything mid lane, but if we can't, I'm just going towards this lane, pick up the red buff because I want it. Just staring me down. I gotta have it. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Maybe not the best. I could have leached that on it before we jumped out, but it's alright. Doesn't matter. I'd rather not die and give the enemy team a free kill like that, so we're just going towards our red buff and pick that up instead. After claiming the spider buff. Yoda's going down lane. I'm just double checking to see if they're alright. Looks like they're all cool. I'm going to stop this armor play from doing anything. Going back towards mid lane. I feel like ulting him. But I don't know if it'll be enough damage. So I'm going to go like this. Then dash into him. Then go like that. Into that. Into th Oh, never mind. If he didn't knock me back, I could potentially land at a range attack. Alongside my ultimate, and then maybe would have finished him. I'm not too sure though. Something I had to test out, that's for sure. I'm gonna get some of our HP back from here. Since our leech ability is down, and I can't use it on a jungle creature to regen HP. And we're gonna use our ability here. Get towards this lane. Perfect. Get this jungle camp, because it does have a cloning device on it. And I really do need that. So apply more pressure towards this actual game. Since the actual Leviathan camp is up. Can we do anything here? I want to do something, but I know there's nothing we possibly can do here. But I want to activate this clone device to hopefully help with this push. Wow, that combination there, that was annoying. We're going towards mid lane. Okay. Oh, wow. I, I stuffed that up. 
um, failed my knock up on that character. That's cool. I think that's still a good outcome. Ebon and Maul got the another kill. He's just destroying players. I want to reset because I'm too low on HP. You know, I can leech a jungle camp and get HP back. I don't think it's of use. I think we possibly could go for this. Nah, there's nothing we could possibly do. <laughs> like, you hope for the best, but there's nothing we can do there. They may take mid lane town, which is annoying, because it's tier 2. But there's not much we could possibly do. Ebon and Maul are still in the bot lane. So just chilling. Okay. Put a point to that. I might go for the Leviathan camp soon. Attack. I should mind do it now. I think it's a better option to just do it now. Because I think we can possibly get it and get some more damage output. By getting this camp here, it gives our whole team 20% more damage in physical and energy. So it's a great boost for us when it comes to team fights. So I hope we can highlight it and see how strong we can get. And my FPS count just dropped like crazy. It's been doing that lately. Every time I try to record and actually play the game on high graphics, it just has a problem. Let's go towards this character. Okay, that's it. Get that kill. Nice and easy. An enemy hero has been defeated. I got my cloning device. No. I need it for pressure. Let's go. Let's get that there. We're going to fight this as well. So we're going to help them out with this situation they're having. Ultimate into that. Can I do anything? Oh, no. There we go. I got the kill. Through a blink. Okay, we got three kills. Hulk is still fighting in the mid lane. I'm going to try to help out this. And most likely walk out this one. A bit of more did ult on me. But I don't think we can do this. I'm going to dash away like that. Nice and easy. And we're out of that situation. That would have been awfully bad for us at one point. But I feel like we did pretty well there. That's four kills. Zero deaths and one assist. And this is honestly a couple games in with Proxy Midnight. She's a very strong character once you start to understand her. And hopefully this guy is helping understand how to play the character overall when it comes to gameplay. Also, we can work on our execution a lot more better, but that comes with more time and more practice. Oh, no. There we go. Nice work. Helped her more get that kill. And we're going back to the mid lane since we need to help these guys out. Get last hit on that minion. Or get a hit on it to get some gold benefits. We're going to head on to the... No, we're not going to do that. Oh, I was going to jump into it. I was actually going to go jump into that fight. It would be awful for us. <laughs> Dodge that CC. Even no more took a massive hit. We're going to wait for our passive to reset. Doesn't. It usually takes two seconds. So I'm a little bit worried about that. Okay. Um... I was trying to get enemy players away from my team because if they did engage, I feel like it'd be game over. There we go. Oh my god! Yes! No! <laughs> I had to do it. I had to style on them. That was insane. That was so good. So we went 7 kills, 1 death, 1 assist. Obviously, we went super tower dive just then and got picked up some kills underneath tower. But that was insane. Her movement speed is just in, like godlike. Followed by her abilities to keep dashing forward and jumping everywhere. You can get in and out quite quickly. Um, I was hoping there was a minion closer to this point here. So I can actually leech on it and then survive. That would be an awesome ass play. But by accident, didn't see there was no minions there. Because there isn't a location for that over that point of the map. It's only towards outside of the map. It actually happens. Okay, let's get that. I think we should get Surfer soon, which is the massive team objective. I think it would be very beneficial towards us in this gameplay as well. Because we need to move it into the mid lane and get some towers to open mid lane. Because clone devices aren't strong enough to actually open lanes quite well. Okay. Oh, we don't have the kills for it. So, 15-5 as a whole team. We should be able to be able to push this quite easily. Let's kill this Scarlet Witch player. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> you cannot run away from me. Impossible. Easy kills. Oh, no. Okay. Dash towards it. Apply slow. Is it enough? It's not enough. Okay, we're going to back out a bit. Emma Frost is here as well. So I was going to get comboed on. She missed it. Okay, good. I'm going to pick up this camp here if I can. Actually, let's dash out of this one. Our team is waiting for us, but we do have a Leviathan soon. I might pick up a Leviathan instead, which is better. So I'm going to do that because it'll be better for us. So I'm just going to do it alone because I'm pretty sure we can survive this. Like, it's not hard to verse. So we're going to pretty much kite and gain some shield here and there. We don't have our ability for Leech, so we better clean this as quickly as possible. Or well, this can go sour. There we go. Nice and easy. I might dive in for this kill. I shouldn't have blinked, actually. Oh, no. Oh, he survived. Hmm. No! Get me out! No! I got boosted down! That was my bad. That was so my bad. I thought I could potentially pull off a play. Oh, it's too cocky. Ebenem Wall is going for something here. He's got a triple stage. Can he get his triple kill? If it's possible, I'll be so surprised. Nah, no way. He got stunned for like a century there. So there's no chance. At least they can't get the Leviathan cap now. But they will be going towards Surthor or mid... Oh, bot lane tower. Which I think they will take a bot lane tower because that's more perfect for them. But hopefully I can actually stop this in time. It's possible. Yeah, I think we got this. We're also playing some damage as well. I can chase him down. Can I teleport like this? You can't. So it has to be underneath a, um, a particular amount of health. But they are blinking away. She used our ultimate. That's good for us. Let's go like that. Get some base tax over here. Oh, wrong way. Did we get that kill? So close. It's like on 100 HP. We can't get that kill anyway. So we can just pick up this one instead. Dash over there. We can apply some pressure in the mid lane. Since we can get this tower down. Use our range stack on that minion. Dash in. Dash back there. That's all we have to do is just apply so much pressure. Oh my god, Cold City. Don't, do not do that. Okay, that's not a good fight for us. And I've got... Here by Emma Frost. She's trying to tickle me. I don't like that. We do have Hulk plays there. Just waiting for us. If I can get an ultimate on someone, I'll go for it. If it's an ultimate for a kill. Like that. If I can get this. Come on. No, it didn't allow me. Why didn't it allow me to actually TP on that? Oh, wow. We, we're out. We're so out of that one. Okay, let's actually get a clone device here. Get some of these camps. And apply pressure on the map instead. Because going for kills like that, I can't really fight like that. Because she's really good at 1v1ing. But when it comes to a group fight, you have to make sure your plays are calculated. So go from here. Apply some pressure with that. Get that towards the bot lane since we need it there. So I'm going to try to put bot lane pressure so then we can hopefully convert to Surfer after. And get that buff camp. For our team. Which will push towards a lane because we needed to do so. Let's get this. Nice and easy. That's one tower down. Enemy team will try to convert towards me. So I need to watch out. Take some damage from there. Let's get this buff. Because why the hell not? There we go. Want to engage, but I feel like that's not a good idea. Oh, wait. Actually, maybe it's. No. A re um, area effect damage. Let's knock up that character up there. Then go in like that. Do some dash abilities. Oh no, we got cancelled on. Activate a shield for a whole team. Okay, so Ebon and Maul's there, isn't he? Oh my god, he got double kill. Look at him go. Can't stop that guy, man. I love this. Good team comp. Good synergy. I love it. I'm going to go for red buff. Pick up that camp quickly. Since our team's going to most likely pick up mid lane easily without my help. Pick up that. Go towards this. Right now, I'm trying to just claim full build as quickly as possible. That's the goal. And I'm going to go dash towards this. There we go. Nice work. I think that's game over. We don't even need the massive team objective camp in order to win this. 
like that, then blink it forward, then... Like, you can't stop this. There's no way. Proxima Midnight, what an amazing character. I think this could potentially be my main. Um, hopefully, this is a very good way to highlight what she is in the jungle role. Because it will be destroying, and our support play is so good. I think we're going to play this character in the next video. Because it's a very crazy character too, very difficult. 13.4 as our current score, which is... 87% or pretty much close to 9% of plays at this rank. So that's really good for us. And our score was at 13.4, which is pretty much top of the range. I'm going to give Ebon a more at that point and whole team, why not? That was a great game and we just destroyed. Um, I wish there was a... Can we see damage shots? It's not bad, 27k damage. Ebon more did 50, 54? That's insane. But the character itself, very great character for engaging, disengaging, fighting overall. You have so many options with this character. And that's what makes her very terrifying to verse in higher ranks. Because you don't know what she's going to do. You don't know what the possibilities are. So you're always going to be worried about what's going to happen next. But mates, tell me your opinions and thoughts about this character in the comment section down below. Will you be buying the character to play it out? Will you be using it to climb your ranks? I need to know. Tell me in the comment section down below. If you mates did enjoy this video, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with our content. That is the end of this video, and I'll catch you mates in the next one. Bye.